All right. See you next time. Laser, laser, laser time. Welcome to Hello, laser. Here is my list for all the stuff I want to go through. Mainly this. This is the this is what's new. Everything else is what's been new since I last took like a deep dive into looking at Osu Laser. I shall try to speed run going through all the new info because I wanna I wanna get my own feeling for where Osu Laser is now, close to the end of 2021. Yeah, in the small stuff section of my document, I have massive editor progress. Uh, let me just say that first. The editor has made such an absurd amount of progress since I've last taken a deep dive into Osu Laser. I don't use the editor though, right? All I know is that now you can like competently make a map like what do you what do you have in the editor you know let's just take a glance we've got a uh, titling okay we've got metadata we've got tags we've got combo colors widescreen support epilepsy warning enable countdown we got the timing panel which i think looks different since i last showed it in like a video yep here it is and that's that's it <laughs> that's as far into the editor as i'm really gonna go <laughs> you still can't make storyboards or anything but you can make a map oh yeah and the other thing i want to get into the gameplay but for the sake of the video we do have main menu storyboards that's such a like cool feature to have storyboards on the main menu. I like the idea of being able to open up Osu Laser, and this is like the first thing I see. It's kind of epic. Look at all the storyboard maps that I've loaded in. I don't need to look at every single one of them, but pretty epic. That's true, you need Osu Supporter in order to see this in Osu Laser. Osu Direct is free in Osu Laser, but you need Osu Supporter to have this quite the incentive. I see you, Peppy. There's so much for us to talk about, but let's just start with what's new, which is the PP counter, which I think is only on the default skin at the moment, and you have to add it in to another skin if you're not using the default skin. Obviously, highly subject to change. You're going to be able to skin it and do whatever you want. It's just the initial implementation. I haven't seen this either. This is the first time that I'm seeing this. So it's just like centered at the top of the screen. I mean, you can move it with the skin editor, though. What is this accuracy? 72? What? What is this? Oh my god, 165. The default skin scares me. I don't like this. I wasn't even like gonna try to FC this or anything, but... The slider looks, uh, it looks so filled in <laughs> with the default skin and laser. 217 PP, huh? So this, this is interesting because how much PP would that be worth in stable? This is new PP. It'd be like 250. Wait, there's a slider end counter? <laughs> 50 of 50 slider ticks, 243 of 243 slider ends, 268 PP in stable. So obviously the PP that we're seeing isn't gonna be necessarily accurate to what it's actually gonna be when laser is submitting PP plays. It doesn't count FCs because it expects slider ends to count for combo. Yeah, so it's gonna be, everything's gonna be a little bit lower, I guess, than what it should be for the most part. Let me quickly put my PP counter into the other skin. This is something that we've looked at on stream a lot, but another big new addition is the initial implementation of the skin editor, which I don't remember the shortcut for. <laughs> Control shift R? No, that's to change your skin. That's to randomly change your skin. That's not what I want to do. It's Control shift S. Okay. <laughs> okay, Control shift S. So yeah, the skin editor right now only works in gameplay. Eventually, obviously, you're going to be able to use it in the menus and everything too. So all the elements from your legacy skins and stuff, you can uh, resize, you can move around, you can drag and drop, and you can bring in things that aren't already in your skin, like the PP counter, as you can see. So I can see exactly how much PP all my plays are worth. I can try to grind some scores with like no no extra added pressure. But you know, maybe I just wanna stick everything in the corner, plug in the PP counter over here, and then all of a sudden, Boom, you have a beautiful skin. Oh yeah, you can change the UR bar too. Another pretty epic thing is just the fact that you can delete elements if you don't want them. Like if you don't want to get distracted by your ACK or your HP or the UR bar or anything, you can just delete all of it. And then you can just, just have a PP counter. I actually kind of, wait, this is kind of sick. That's actually not even bad. <laughs> it's a little bit big, but, and kind of clipping out of the screen. <laughs> not big enough. Can you duplicate elements? Yes. You can just get a lot of PP counters. This is like simulating anxiety. You're about to get an FC. <laughs> and so as you can see in the top right, you can save changes to the skin and you can also revert to default and just have everything go back to normal. So that's the skin editor. And that's how you bring the PP counter at the moment into any other skin. Here, let me download um, Harumachi. I need to simulate stress. This is a really easy map.
Wow, that's the easiest 300 PP I've ever gotten in my life. Is that really 300 PP? Wait, is that just OC laser? I mean, I'm super out of the loop on what's actually worth like 300 nowadays. Yeah, wait, let me put on classic mod. Classic mod, so it makes it like it isn't stable. Dude, it's, it's more unstable than it- dude, what the fuck? My first 300, okay, I'm, I'm having an Osu Boomer moment. My first 300 PP back in my day was like some five minute no mod map because the thought of grinding DT for 300 PP was like crazy. Man, you can get 300 PP in 20 seconds nowadays. Well, you know what? Having the PP counter, I like it. It's a good addition. I'm excited for when you can customize and skin the PP counter. Oh wait, do any of these mods affect star rating? Probably not. Like, do all of these mods just make it like zero pp what if i put on wind up this is very important anal analyzing hello oh what <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> hold on it's because the whole map itself is 14 stars wow six seven hundred pp one thousand pp wait it's going up so fast all right look at him go just too easy. So right. What happens if I play? But what about it? What if I do an actual map? Like let's go, let's go wind up and play like Haramachi. Okay, so it's like the same as DT. It's actually less than DT. Wait, so what is the PP if I go like wind down? Is it just does it just Go like zero. <laughs> what? <laughs> Two. Yo, thirteen PP for that. That was good. Yeah. So it takes the final speed of the map to calculate the PP with wind up and wind down. That's interesting. Team versus is implemented. A lot of the multiplayer stuff is here now. You can set a password, you can kick players, you can't invite people yet. And actually, guys, can you help me really quick? I wanna spectate a lobby really quick. Will it start with all 11 people? Only one poor soul having a, having a struggle there. Oh my God, the PP counter. I need to change my skin. Yeah, I think some people got disconnected. You know what I should do for this part of the video? I should just take my footage from when this went smoothly and use that because that shows it off way better. When we did the knockout in Osu Laser, that's, that, that looks way cooler than this. That would be playing right now over me talking. Very cool, very cool looking. Look at this. This isn't gonna work. But anyway, you can do that now. So that only leaves one thing and that's the five new mods, which are random, mirror, muted, approach different, which my camera's like almost covering and also target, which is is just target practice from cutting edge but a little bit better let's let me start with target practice have i even looked at this on stream it's basically cutting edge target practice but it uses the actual hit circles of your skin instead of weird looking targets you know what it's like it's kind of like an aim trainer I mean, it is called target practice. <laughs> target practice is like target practice and cutting edge, but just a little bit better. It's kind of like finished now, unlike the unfinished target practice in cutting edge. Anyway, target practice. Uh, random, there's not really much to look at. You can set a seed for random. It just randomizes the notes of the maps, but the distance between everything stays together. Sliders are still sliders, circles are still circles. And you can set a number for the seed. If you want you and your friends to play on the same randomized map, or you really like a randomization, you can remember the seed. I mean, it's, it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's kind of like anti-mind block. Yeah, any stream map is gonna be just fucked. This is so weird. It just makes the stream shapes really hard to read. Yo, wait, this jump pattern is sick though. Yo, look at these jumps! It's interesting though, you get a different randomization every single time. I, I like random, but I feel like I won't wouldn't be using it too much. It'd be cool to like throw someone off in a in a multi-lobby type environment though. Alright, mirror flips objects on the chosen ac axes. It's what you would expect. You can decide to either flip it horizontal, vertical, or both, which is kind of cool. It's like hard rock without hard rock, and you can also do just vertical or just horizontal. Big black.
You almost can't even tell. HR on a budget. Yeah, basically. It's nice to have that as a mod, though. See what other mods are new. Let's do muted first. Muted, there's also not much to look at. Well, I don't really even know what muted does. It's kind of confusing. You can enable a metronome. You can make it... Basically, the volume will change depending on the combo you have. And if you break combo, the volume resets. So, like, when you get 100 combo, the map mutes. Or you can do the inverse. So let's say, for example, I want to play this. Hey guys, how's it going? It kind of is a jump scare. <laughs> All right, final mod is Approach Different, which basically just changes the animations of the approach circle. I like this mod a lot. This is probably the coolest new mod. Like, really, really new, I mean. I like Traceable. Traceable is my favorite Osu Laser mod, but when it comes to ones that have been added in, like, the past few months, this one's really cool. God, it's really hard, though. The, <laughs> the approach circles are so big that it's difficult to read. I need to move my camera again for this one. Hold on. Because Approach Different also has a bunch of interesting options. You can change the initial size of the approach circle. You can change the animation. There's a ton of different animations that I, I've looked at. Honestly, the best one is Gravity. Decelerate is kind of cool on stream maps. Can I get, like, United for some kid kicking? What? <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh my god, I see, I see. This is trippy, wait a minute, what the fuck? Oh my god, this is so hard to read. Okay, this is- this is- wait, 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 hold on, I gotta see what the other ones are. What is- what is in and out look like? Let me go like initial size 10. Okay, <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? This is even worse. Okay, I'm dying, I'm dying. Anyway, approach different. Pretty cool. I believe that's everything that's been added to Osu Laser since the past video I made. I mean, I guess the only other real thing, which I mentioned earlier, is that Peppy's holding these community meetings every once in a while in the Osu Development Discord. And he was talking about how within three to six months, you could maybe expect PP to be achievable within Osu Laser. So I guess I might as well add that. But you know, other than that, like in terms of gameplay, in terms of stable gameplay, everything's pretty much here. Yeah, Osu Laser now has built in tablet drivers, built in PP counters. The ability to show storyboards in the main menu, which is just super sick. All the new mods, the new multiplayer spectating. What It's going to be such an interesting moment in the community. When we get the optimization, missing editor features are here, and PP is set up, and then laser's done. You know, done, quote unquote. I'm very excited to see what happens when that comes. All right, laser, I will return to you in about six months. Because until then, uh, I can't imagine another significant new feature getting added to Osu Laser. Oh yeah, there's going to be a UI redesign. That's kind of big. Also, at some point, big entire UI redesign. Just a small note. <laughs> That'll also happen.